Hi, this is your host Sapin Bharti and we are here at KubeCon in Chicago and today we have with us Sudeep Goswami, CRO at Traffic Labs. Sudeep, it's great to have you on the show. Great to be here. First of all, thanks for joining me today. Uh, before we talk about you know this event, just remind our viewers what is Traffic Labs all about? Yeah, Traffic Labs uh, was born as an open source project where it started off offering a reverse proxy and an ingress controller and then started offering API Gateway, and most recently we offer API Management. We are here at KubeCon. Did you folks make an announcement here? We launched uh, day two operations uh, workflows today. When we look at day two operations, uh, talk a bit about, does it really end at day two? And what about day three, day four, day five, day six? Uh, what I'm trying to understand is, jokes apart, you said, you know, open source is core to it. Open source can solve day one problem, where you get everything, you get it started. Day two is where the real challenge starts. So just, just quickly talk about what does day two operation look like? What are the challenges and why you're focusing on that? There's day zero, there's day one, day two, right? So day zero is all about you putting something together, a new infrastructure. Day one is really the first day when you go live. And day two is everything beyond that, right? So it's all encapsulated what happens once you have something in production. And that's when we see all the cracks start to show in operations, you start to run into scale issues, you start to run into like efficiency issues. This is kind of what's encapsulated as day two. And with Traffic Hub, uh, when we launched the, you know, a few months ago, when we launched our first version of the product, we wanted to get the foundation right so you can really build on top and create these day two workflows. And we can talk more about what those are. Yeah, I would like to, to learn more. And also, I want to look at data operations from the perspective of API as well. Exactly. Yeah, so if you look at what's happening uh, in the world of API, in the world of software development, but especially from an API standpoint, I mean, LLMs uh, have created a step function in terms of the amount of code that's going to be generated, right? So when you look at API and you look at the velocity of development of new APIs, that is going through a major transformation. So it's become, it has become a lot easier for now for developers to create an API and push it out there in the wild, right? But what that does is also creates a lot of issues around, well, these changes that you made, are they the right changes? Are they gonna break something in the environment? Are they gonna work when you scale? What happens when there is an incident? How do you know those APIs are working well before you have an incident? So all of these, what we encapsulate as day two operational challenges, they are not solved well and they create huge problems for our uh, customers who are the DevOps and the platform engineers. When we look at complexity of Kubernetes, it is there, you know, people talk about it a lot. Fact is that it is not going to go away. It might become even more complicated. So, so some challenges arise from that complexity itself, but a lot of challenges also arise from what a company is trying to do. So, so when we look at Traffic Hub and when we look at this, you know, the new announcement that you made, what specific challenge are you targeting? There? The biggest challenge has been around when you look at Kubernetes and when you also look at GitOps is to unify everything to a common language. Because if people are speaking different languages, it's going to be very hard for you to have this consistent unified experience. And that is the first thing that we solved, which was really making API management as code. And in the world of Kubernetes, everything becomes a YAML file, everything is declarative. And so that foundation has been missing in the industry. So that was the first thing that we did, right? So with that base foundation of API management as code, now let's look at it from a day two operations perspective, right? So the first thing is gonna be, organizations are gonna deal with change, right? Change is the name of the game now. So when a new change happens in the environment, because you have declared it as code, what you can now do, you can actually uh, use the Git repository, you can start using the GitOps workflow. And one of the first uh, new features that we introduced recently, you know, today, one of the things that we do is when a PR request goes in, when a pull request is, uh, you know, initiated, the first thing we'll be able to do is assess the impact of that change and do this syntactic to semantic translation which means to give some reasoning to what the change is impacting. So for example, the developer thought the change was going to impact two things in the environment. Our analysis shows, no, you're actually impacting 10 different things. Like that reasoning, unless you go through lines and lines of code, is not going to be readily available to you. So that's the first thing that we do. Now let's say you say, okay, this looks good, let's move forward. 
but they, we have linters now that automatically run as GitHub Actions, which are going to look for errors in the change that you made and give you the ability to just revert back the change. So you're not going to create a breaking change. The probability of you creating a breaking change just goes down drastically with these changes. Then let's say you deploy something, for whatever reason, there is an incident that happens. We are able to offer triaging so you can actually go back and see, I made this change at 10 a.m. At 2 p.m. I started to see a problem as shown through my open telemetry metrics that my APIs are not performing the way they should. So I can just go visually look at when was the last time a pull request was merged? I can just go and undo that and very quickly see, get it back to a stable state before I can start troubleshooting it. So you're minimizing the window that you have a downtime and you're increasing the, you know, the efficiency with which you're troubleshooting problems. And how do they track incidents? What they rely on different other incident management tools or you know traffic hubs right there yeah so we are not an incident management uh, uh, tool right so they are using others so if that says there is an incident they can use traffic hub to visually see and very quickly diagnose what was the source of that incident and be able to really minimize that quickly so do you plug into that incident or is totally separate we would so what we do is, you know, we would uh, we publish open telemetry metrics. So we have one of the most extensive open telemetry, 20 plus uh, metrics, 10 plus labels. So it gives you the slicing and dicing power. And they can be exported to a third party system like Grafana or Prometheus. And through there, you can actually see and reason your entire environment. So our value is in the instrumentation that we provide the rich instrumentation that you can export to third party systems. If you look at the whole evolution of this, is, of course, there are a lot of things in your pipe and you cannot talk, but just give us a glimpse, a teaser. Hey, these are the things that you folks are working on. Yeah, so I think we're, I would say, with all of this uh, exciting announcements that we launched today, we're just at the starting point of day two operations because we believe this is the next frontier for a modern API management platform. Anybody can come up with a bunch of features and put them out there, right? It is going to be about the operating model and how you're solving these painful day two challenges. And that's the crux of the focus. So what you just saw today is just a glimpse of what's possible. And you, you know, you're going to hear a lot more from us on this. You know, and, and what we're trying to do, if you think of it in like three pillars, there's change management, always going to be a big area of pain. There's incident management, always going to be a big area of you know, pain. And then there's what we call posture management, is how do you have deep visibility and observability into your API infrastructure? And we're going to focus on these three things because they really make up the day-to-day -day operations of a DevOps or a platform engineer. Since we are here at a KubeCon, which is open source event, now, the open source doesn't necessarily mean, it, it depends on who you talk to, right? Yes, source code should be open, all those things are there. But then there's another aspect is that commercial support. Without commercial support, you are stuck at zero day, day zero. So, so talk a bit about the importance of open source for Traffic Hub. At the same time, talk about the importance of commercialization to support open source. First of all, Traffic Lab started as an open source project. Open source is very important to us. It is uh, core to the DNA. However, uh, open source by itself does not solve all of the issues. So we, when we first started the project, we put out Traffic Proxy, which was our open source project. We wanted to have a full functioning experience for developers, why, and that's why we offered uh, Ingress Controller and Reverse Proxy, which was a, a fully baked solution. But we recognize the need that enterprises need more enterprise-grade features. So what's going to be OK for a developer to do their job is not going to be OK for their managers or their directors and VPs. So that's why we introduced Traffic Enterprise, which was a paid offering, which brought in high availability, it brought in security and scale aspect to the open source project. And then we released a Traffic Hub, which is also a paid product. And what that does is builds on the capabilities of the API gateway or the Traffic Enterprise product and brings in API management capabilities on top. So really like, you know, the foundation was open source, but you can't just stop at open source. You have to create more value for users, so, and you can start to address more and more of the use cases.
Sudeep, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course talk about the new announcement here at KubeCon and also kind of give us a glimpse of what to expect from traffic labs in the future. Thanks for all those insights and I'll love to chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you. It was my pleasure.